This is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest dark face storm and this is the 8th December 2019 build and the security patch is latest of course December 5th 2019 and the Android version is right there Android 10 the dark face logo present up top in the about section and here we have the stock kernel as even city plus kernel and then we have the build number so let me go back in the system panel you do find the dark face updater and you can check for updates from here and by the way i have changed the accent color over here and if you want to change it you can find those in the display settings which i'll show you later on but here in the gestures and stuff you do get this system navigation gesture which is the android 10 gestures or you can use the two button or three button navigations now let me go back from here we have the skip music track option then we do get like these kind of front camera effects option it does work the sound effects you can get as you can see there are plenty of options for the pop-up front camera like sounds and stuff like MIUI so not a problem there and the front camera LED and stuff is working fine here with the sounds as you can see Bluetooth devices works fine here and talking about flashing this ROM well you don't need a G apps to flash this ROM you just need the ROM file itself and the fclip disabler and you need to be on the orange fox recovery so with the orange fox recovery if you're already on a custom rom you just wipe cache dalvik system data and flash this rom and the fcrypt disabler and then reboot that is how simple it is and in the display settings you find the night light and stuff so if you turn it on it makes the display yellowish and over here we have the adaptive or auto brightness option and styles and wallpapers are there so you can choose whatever styles you need and colors natural boosted adaptive colors option is, are there and from the lock screen display you can find the always on display and from here you can even like turn always on when charging and stuff if you want to now let me go back from here we have the game driver preference so you can choose whatever like games you want from there and here we have the anti flicker mode so if you want to enable it you can like in the lower brightness i think it does help and dark theme option is there of course and this is how it looks dark theme works properly no issues whatsoever in this rom with the dark theme i have been using this rom with dark theme and in terms of accent colors we get bunch of accent colors as you can see there are plenty of options i'm sorry for the background noises and stuff there are constructions going on beside my house so yeah and here you get as you can see bunch of like accent color options so no compromises done over here with the accent colors and we also have the body font option you get bunch of body fonts as you can see lot of options are there lg smart gothic then barriol and lot of stuff over here and icon shapes we can change it to teardrop squircle or rounded rectangle so that is it in terms of the display settings now talking about the battery life well here are the screenshots the battery life seems really good it is pretty great i am getting about seven and a half to eight hours of screen on time from this like rom and the battery life i have no complaints and lock screen charging info and stuff there and inside derp quest we get the customizations of course and inside status bar we have the system icons and stuff we have headset vaulty bluetooth etc icons over here and the vaulty icon does show up over here no issues with that we have the like 4g instead of lte icon and stuff and this is how the default in call ui looks like there is no call recorder or something this is the pixel kind of stock dialer and the vaulty calls and stuff does work but there is no call recorder do keep that in mind and then we get the status bar logo of the dark quest and traffic indicator and stuff is there if you want to enable it and show clock and date option is there you can also like increase the clock font size and stuff and battery style is there i have chosen it to be filled circle and that works for me and battery percentage you can choose it to be next to the icon and we also have the battery percentage when charging of course in the quick settings panel we have the status bar pull down and stuff so you can choose it to be from the right left or anywhere and quick setting opacity quick setting panel opacity is there and here we have the battery percentage enabled and clock and stuff for the quick settings also we get custom header image so that's not an issue and in the buttons we have the accidental touch screen of power and torch is there but for that you have to disable like always on display if you want to use this screen of power and torch and we also have the volume kind of settings over here you can have the volume steps customization volume panel and stuff customization you can add a bunch of stuff and you can of course like expand the volume panel just like this like it is common with all android 10 roms 
and inside navigation bar we have the normal navigation bar option if you want to use it you have to use the two button or three button gesture so yeah and in the gestures we get the status bar double tap to sleep so this works flawlessly now let me unlock and talking about the fingerprint scanner speed again here the fingerprint scanner i would say is pretty good as you are seeing from the like always on display if i tap over here the fingerprint scanner does work right away so i don't find any issues with the fingerprint scanner in this rom it is really good it is likely to be on par with the evolution x rom so it unlocks like almost with like both my fingers as you can see right now it did not even like get failed even once so the fingerprint scanner speed i have no complaints over here and lock screen double tap to sleep and stuff is there the three finger screenshot is there but as you can see if you take the screenshot let me show you with the three finger you get this kind of like swiping effect over here so yeah those kind of like errors are there for the three finger screenshot gesture i hope they fix it in the future updates now in the lock screen we have the fingerprint authentication vibration media cover art and the music visualizer and stuff but there is no always unlock with the fingerprint scanner option from the lock screen and in the power menu we have the advanced reboot option so this works fine as you can see it shows this restart if you tap on the restart it you will see directly rebooting to recover your fast boot mode and you have to enable this advanced reboot for that by the way and you can even disable the power menu when you are in the lock screen so that's great now in the notifications we have the notification light option and then we have the charging animation the charging animation looks really good and this one of course supports the 18 watt fast charging and it also shows the animation while charging and this is how the always on display looks like as you can see and if i plug in the charger right now it also shows the animation over here and it also shows a kind of like battery bar over here and the charging info and stuff shows over here as you can see it says charging rapidly and even the fingerprint scanner is great and ambient display brightness you can control it so that's great we have the in call vibration options like vibrate on connect call waiting or disconnect and there is also pulse flashlight on incoming call option and there is edge lighting notification kind of thing so this i think works but i haven't really noticed it and in the animations you can have the whole ui animation control from here as you can see lot of options are there and in the misc settings you can disable wake up on charge and surprisingly the brightness control through the status bar thing like this this one is present inside in the misc i don't know why they should have put it in the gesture settings i guess but that's how it is the brightness control thing is present in the miscellaneous settings and you have the customized round corners time and state those settings etc and even scaling like per app option is there so that is all the customizations you get inside sound settings we get the me audio dirac but right now it is not opening i don't know why but this works fine i have tested it and the screenshot sound you can disable it from the sound settings charging sound vibration etc you can disable them also vibrate on calls and stuff is there the stock launcher is pixel launcher let me show you this is how it looks you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get the quick settings panel to the left we have the google now cards as you can see and this is how the like home screen looks like over here the rom feels really smooth no issues with that and the dream info shows as level one so that's good but there is no double tap to sleep or something like on anywhere on the home screen and google pay works right away out of the box in this rom so that is not a problem the widgets and stuff are working fine too so in terms of pubg graphics settings you can play on hdr and extreme so that is not an issue the game should work really well and here is the android score of this rom and like everything seems pretty smooth let me like close all the things from here now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app run of speeds and the ram management here Now let's open all the apps from memory and as you can see this is quite fast like experience over here i have no complaints with the ram management even though this is a 6 gb ram variant it is handling like pretty fine and you can switch between apps just like this so the ui is like pretty smooth and fast no issues with the ui and the stock camera over here is the like this kind of weird camera this is the snapdragon camera of course the old one and i'm not using it i have flashed the anx camera version 158 and with this everything is working fine all the lenses are working fine and even the new google camera is working fine as you can see and if you want to install this google camera you can click on the card over here you can get it 
and i would say this rom is a pretty great option in and if you want to try dirt faced on your like device you can definitely do that on your redmi k20 pro right now and we also get the google recorder app but it just gets stuck on zero zero if you do not connect a headphone but with a headphone this one does work fine the transcripts and stuff does work fine but you have to connect the headphone for this to share this video out with your friends if you want them to know about this dirt faced rom on the redmi k20 pro so thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tiro from kerry and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now